always when we come from the sewing machine, one of the first things we want to do, I'm going to use these little scissors right here, is we want to find any threads and cut them. We want to keep the threads cut as we go so that at the end we don't have a pile of threads that we've got to find and clip and we're just going to keep them clipped as we go. And let's see, there's one over here. I'm going to get this thread off here. All right. And hmm. okay. All right. Always when you come from the sewing machine, we're going to cut the threads and we're going to press. So let's just press. Okay. And I'm going to press on top of this seam here. Just going to press. All right. All right. Okay. Now that we have pressed our uh, two sections for our pouch, we're going to again put the bright sides together. And what we're going to do is line up the tops. We're going to line up the tops, being mindful of not throwing anything else off too much. So we want to keep everything in alignment that we can, but we do want to line up the tops. Okay, so we're going to line up the tops. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some pins in these tops, okay, across the top here. All right, so put a pin there. So we want to make sure this is lined up though. Okay, but we've got a pin there, here. We're going to put a pin here. I'm going to line up across the top. Want the tops matching. The dull side is now outside. And we're going to just match this up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a measuring tool and have our markers ready because we're going to do some marking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this measuring tape and or you could use a ruler. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use the measuring tape right now and I'm going to just deal with number three. Three inches is what I'm dealing with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the three line here at the top. So we have three inches here. I'm leaving a space over here because I want to mark in that space. All right, so I've got the three inches at the top over here. And now I'm going to mark at the bottom right here. And then I'm going to go up one to the one inch and I'm going to mark. Okay. So basically what I just did is I did two inches down and then one inch. Okay, so I'm going to take the three inches and put it over here. We have three inches at the top of the pouch. I have some room over here to mark. And I'm going to go down to the bottom and mark. And I'm going to go up one inch and mark. OK. And then I'm going to flip it and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to take three inches. Three inches I'm counting up. I'm going to put the three inches up here with some room over here, and then I'm going to mark here, go up and mark at the one inch, going that way. Okay, the same thing, three inches at the top, some room over here to mark, I'm marking down here at the bottom, and then I'm going to go up one inch at the one inch mark, and I'm marking. All right, so now I'm going to take my straight edge ruler, and I'm going to go to the center of those marks, and I'm going to draw a line all across, all the way from one end of the fabric to the next. So I'm going to get all the way across. And then I'm going to go up to this one, find the center of those marks. And I'm going to, from one end to the other, all across. OK? And then we're going to flip it, and we're going to do the same thing. We are going to find the center of the marks. 
in from one end of the fabric to the other. From one end of the fabric to the other. What we're going to do, let me show you what we're going to do, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sewing machine, and we are going to sew down one side, go across, and go back up the next side. But we are only going to sew below this line, this line here. And we're going to sew the seams up above this line. What we're not going to sew is this is a no sew zone. So we're not going to sew right here where these, between these two lines. We're, so we're going to sew down, over, up, and then down and down. So what I want to do now though, uh, this will help the new sewers a lot, is we're going to mark one half inch in from the side. So if we have a tape measure, what we're going to do is we're going to just take our marker and we're going to place one half inch here and we're going to just make some little dots one half inch down make sure it's the same that that half inch line is in the same place make some dots make some dots just a half inch in. This is going to help us to keep a straight line and to see where we are. Keep that half inch and half inch. Make sure this is lined up with the edge of the fabric and straight. Half inch and half inch. And one thing when we get to the bottom now we want to go half inch. So we're going to go, we're going to go half inch and half inch. Let me do it this way. Okay, so we're doing a half inch and a half inch. And then we want the half inch to go in this way. So we want a half inch. So right here is going to be our corner, okay? It's because we're going to pivot on that corner. All right, and then we're going to do the same over here. So we're going to do half inch across, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch. And when we turn it, we want to be also doing a half inch. So we're going to have a half inch, but we want to have a corner. We don't want our half inch to start down there. So here's a half inch. And so we're going to kind of connect that to make a corner right here is our half inch corner. All right. And then we're going to keep going half inch, half inch half inch, half inch, and 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 then we're going to do half inch up here, a few dots up here to let us know we're doing a half inch, and we're doing half inch. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take our straight edge and we're actually going to make a line down here. And this is going to be the line that we're going to sew on. So we're as as close as possible. We want to line up these dots. Okay, so do they line up? <laughs> we're going to go from here to this dot. So the main thing is to get that dot. So we got that. All right, and stop at our corner here. And so now, and we're going to go ahead and connect these sides, okay, as best we can. All right. Mm -mm. Okay. 
Okay, now what we want to go back and do is we want to, because this is the no sew zone, so we're going to put some pins to let us know we're not going to be sewing in this area. And the pins are going to stick out over the edge here. That's to remind us when we're sewing that we're not going to sew here. Okay. Now, we're going to put pins to kind of hold this in place. Okay. We don't have to put a lot, but we need enough to keep it from moving around and keep everything where it's supposed to be. Okay, so. All right. Okay, so we're going to pin this and then we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew and we're going to sew on these lines and this is going to help us a whole lot, especially if you are, you don't, if you haven't sewn a lot or if you're new to sewing. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to go zoop, 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 skip over, boom, go there, and then go there. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, we're going to sew. And, okay, so the first, we're going to start here. Make sure your threads are going back. All right, so we're going to start here on this line, on this mark here. And we're not going to sew in between here. So we want to find and put the needle on the line and on the mark right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sew along this line. I'm going to go ahead and move this pin right now. And so just keep your, again, when you start, you're going to go a few stitches forward, a few back, and then come on. And you will have tied your your thread. Okay, so we're going to go forward and we're going to just sew on this line. Just sew on the line. Okay, just, just go slowly. Keep on the line. Just keep on the line and you're going to be okay. So the line should be going right through the center of your presser foot. Let me get this pin out. All right, so just stay on the line. Stay on the line. Okay, so what we want is when we get down here, where we made that corner, which I didn't explain very well what was going on, but we needed to make sure we had a corner. So we needed to make sure we had one half inch going down, but also a half inch going across that would make a corner. So that's what this marking is. So we're going to pivot. When we get down to the inside this corner here, we're going to not take our needle out. We're going to go like this, stop. All right, now, we're right there on that mark. So we want to put our needle down. So I'm going to put my needle down. You may need to put yours down by turning your knob, turn it towards you. Put your needle down. Once your needle is down, you're going to lift up your presser foot. Now, yours may be behind. You lift your presser foot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn, turn, turn. And then we're going to put the presser foot down. And then we should be on that line. And we're going to come back. Now we're on the line coming this way. Okay? All right. So now we're coming across here. We're, we're sewing. So sew on that line, okay, and we're just going to stay on that line, I'm going to take that out, so we, the line is our guide, just stay on that line, go as slow as you need to go, if your sewing machine has an adjustment to go slow, put it on slow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this one out because we're coming up to a, this corner here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pivot. So we're going to come down. 
until we get right in that corner. So, and once we get in that corner, right at the corner, stop. Okay, now we want to put the needle down, however you need to put your needle down, and you want to raise your presser foot up. And then you want to turn the fabric and now we're ready to sew on this line. So we're going to put the presser foot down. And we're ready to go. And we're sewing on that line. Just stay on that line. And you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and take this pin out. I'm going to keep sewing. All right, keep sewing. Our dots were kind of all over the place over here, but I think we got a straight line from the bottom to the top dot. Okay, so we're just going to stay on that line. Alright, and so now I'm going to take this one out. Alright, keep on that line. And now the next time, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this pin out, but we want to stop right here at that corner. We're not going to pivot anymore. We really want to stop there. So what we want to do is when we get to that corner is we want to be ready to do a reverse because okay go ahead and reverse and forward and now stop disengage all right because we don't want to sew in the nose sew zone all right so now we're going to just do this side and this side and that will be that all right so i'm going to go ahead and take this pen out and I'm going to put down the presser foot. Again, if you need to go forward and back, then please do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew on this line here. And I'm going to stop. Let me take this pin out. I am going to stop when I get to that mark to let me know we don't want to sew in the no-sew zone. I'm going to go backwards, I'm going to go forward, I'm going to disengage. All right, there you go. And now, I'm going to do this side over here, so I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to start on the mark and go up to the end. So I'm going to put my presser foot down right in the center that mark and again if you have to go back and forward do it and then we're going to go back and then we're going to go all the way to the end and then I'm going to reverse when we get up here we're reversing now and now we're going to come forward and now we're going to stop all right okay